So here I am getting ready. I have opened up my iPad here and I am opening up my planner. So I pretty much use um, GoodNotes 5. So that's the current one for any of my note taking. So I'm taking a myofunctional therapy course. And as you notice, I was showing on my other webcam there, the notes close up and that will be shown a little bit in a second here. I'm using a black background. So that's actually something new for me. I normally just use a white background like normal white paper but I was looking for some study note inspiration on Pinterest and everybody uses black. I mean, not everybody, but a lot of people. Apparently it's easier on the eyes. And now that I work from home a lot of the time, and now that I'm taking my myofunctional therapy course online, I'm on the computer, I'm on my iPad a lot, so I was kind of looking into using the dark notes and I quite like it. I can still make my study notes very aesthetically pleasing, which is a lot of fun. It just makes studying more fun. And here I'm actually adding some elements, which I will show you guys in a little bit, some sticky notes. So it's kind of like doing it on real paper, but if you had sticky notes and digital is just a lot more fun. Oh, and now I'm showing you guys on white paper. So I was preparing some study notes for my students. So I teach a dental hygiene and dental assisting course. I teach them how to pass the board exam. So that was just showing some white notes that I did for them. And now I'm just kind of playing around with my webcam, moving things around. I was about to take another video. This is a true behind the scenes video. This is what I do from different camera angles, depending what I'm doing. Lots of moving around for sure. And now you'll see me take out my iPad. It kind of looks like I'm spitting on my keyboard, <laughs> but I'm not. I was just cleaning it. Um, now, I'm trying to think, what was I doing there? I don't remember, but I do tend to use my computer, my iPad, my cell phone, my laptop, sometimes all at the same time. It looks like I'm opening up my video editing software on my computer right now. I tend to multitask, which I really shouldn't do that because then I forget what I'm doing with the other things and then something gets left behind. So I'm a huge multitasker. And yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I opened up my video editing app. I put on my UV blocking or blu-ray blocking glasses there that's what you call them <laughs> Okay, perfect so it looks like I decided to show you guys I probably forgot I was filming believe it or not when I do these behind the scenes videos I forget sometimes that I have the webcam on or I forget to turn the webcam on so here I'm doing all of these things trying to show you guys and then I forget to turn it on and then yeah but that's what's happening here I just kind of wanted to zoom in on one of my video editing and now I totally switched it up I'm going to my good note so what you guys saw me doing earlier from the one angle I had that webcam above my head if you remember this is what this is just from a different angle so showing you guys my myofunctional therapy notes I'm currently taking the course as I had mentioned I'm in module one and this is me summarizing I want to say about an hour and a half of lecture into I think it's five pages maybe five or six pages of notes but look at that it just looks easier to study from and it was a lot of fun taking the notes. In a second, I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. So for some reason, I kept the text as black. I probably thought that I was going to use the white paper. But with GoodNotes 5, you can easily change the color. You can add the highlighters. You, you can take away the highlighters. It does take practice for sure. I love YouTube, so I looked at a lot of YouTube videos on how to use GoodNotes 5, and that really helped me. This is the sticky notes that I was talking about earlier. So you can add elements, hello, <laughs> and you can add sticky notes. And then I'm about to show you on the white paper that I mentioned earlier when I make study notes for my students in the board exam prep academy course. And then this is showing you actually the planner that I have for my students with a calendar that I made for them. 
and I'm going right into the sticker elements. So I do have a planner for dental hygiene and dental assisting students, and these are just um, me inputting the stickers for them, a video that I probably did. So a true behind the scenes. I hope you guys liked this. Any questions, just let me know.